So Sonia Morgan is responding to Heather Thompson's claims in this new Tell All Housewives book. And did Luann, Ramona, and even Leah turn on Ebony K. Williams and have a pact to leave this Tell All Books launch party as soon as she arrived? Well, I got some information and we need to talk about it. Welcome back to the Kempai Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So as you know, we've been talking about this new book, Not All Diamonds and Rosé, and I keep telling you, there just doesn't seem to be a lot there. However, the chapters on the Real Housewives of Atlanta and the Real Housewives of Potomac, although some of the stories may seem old, a lot of you have interest. And we will be going live later today to talk more about it so that you guys can call in and share your thoughts. There's a lot of snippets online, and some of those snippets have come my way, and I think we should talk about them. And some of those snippets include some really damning things. Heather Thompson, who's known not to hold back, especially on her new podcast, well, in the book, she talks about why she really is done with Sonia Morgan. If you watch this season, you remember Kristen and Heather were waiting in her vestibule, trying to get in that, into the home because it was um, rainy and cold out and she refused to let her in of course Sonia has her excuses you know she was worried about her daughter she was dealing with something on the phone blah 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 but Heather says in this book that she's had to peel her off the floor she also witnessed men trying to smoke cigarettes out of her personal private area I know but I also know that no one is surprised by that story we've seen Sonia eat yellow ice we've seen her lose her teeth we've seen her do so many things that's gross her and ramona this doesn't surprise me this doesn't surprise me at all but sonia did take to social media under faces of bravo's instagram account to say liar liar her husband wanted a threesome and uh what was the other thing she said this book is really stirring the pot Honestly, Sonia, I believe the rumor. <laughs> but you know someone else that wants attention, and you know how I feel about her, but we're going to talk about it. Leah McSweeney is taking to her social media, her Instagram story, posting her own thoughts on some of the things that Sonia said in the book. So Sonia talks about the time when they were in Newport. Her and Ramona had thoughts about Leah McSweeney's sister and how they were acting and treating them. She says that even at one point, Ramona was really considering not being on the show because she felt that particular scene was trashy. So Leah took to her Instagram to, first of all, she posted a picture of cigarettes alluding to what Heather Thompson said in the book. But she also had thoughts about what she, what Sonia had to say about her sister and some of the things that she Sonia had to say about Tinsley Mortimer. On one of the Instagram stories, she says, damn Sonia talking mad ish about Tins and my sis in this book. Hell no, bitch. It's a wrap. She even posted a snippet from the book on her Instagram where Sonia is talking about Leah's sister and and more. She says this, this is totally untrue. This is Leah speaking. This is totally untrue and I would never ever tell what goes on with Sonia that gets cut out. That's Heather's job apparently. I know a lot of you are are cynical as I am when it comes to these little feuds that we don't see on social media, especially for Roni who experienced their lowest episodes, rated episodes ever in the history of this city. And there were a lot of speculation as to why they didn't have a reunion. It was the first time in the American version of The Real Housewives did not have a reunion. And there was speculation on the reasons why they didn't do that. Okay? So, we just heard from multiple sources, according to page six, page six, to a source that was actually there, Ramona, Luann, and Leah had a pact that when Ebony K. Williams arrived, that they would leave. And based on what I got to hear from a source, that when she did arrive, they were gone. I didn't believe this story at first. 
I didn't believe the story at first. I was like, oh no, this is just a desperate attempt for us to talk about it, to get people more interested in The Real Housewives of New York. They're not filming yet. We know that they've been pushed back. That they're trying to cast and get the cast together for the new season. I would not be surprised if this is their ploy for us to talk about it. But the cameras aren't rolling. All this stuff is playing out now, but it wouldn't surprise me that this is part of their storyline for season 14. Okay. <laughs> Ebony K. Williams, as you know, she's been busy doing doing work. Doing she's getting multiple things. She's recently been a co-host on The View. She says that's a dream job for her. She did very well on it. Some of you believe she should do that, not reality TV. She's not great for reality TV, some of you have said. You're saying that that is her space. And she's done news commentary before. So she did fit if she fit very well in with the view but i know that the view they're not looking for someone that is more leaning on the liberal side of of conversations they're looking for someone that's more conservative they're looking for another megan mccain so already kind of new in the back of my mind they're not going to give her a full-time position if anything though i can definitely see her coming through more often which is a great opportunity for ebony but back to this. So why why would the ladies turn on her? Why did Leah turn on her? Everyone, I love seeing the comments when all of you say, why would Leah turn on her? I thought they were best friends. I thought they were BFFs. Guys, we have to remember how this show works. Leah was just used as a housewife that's already on the show to bring Ebony on the show. These two didn't know each other. I know a lot of you like, well, you know, they're in New York. Maybe they, no, no. I don't believe they ever met before this show. And I never truly believed in their friendship. I think it just made sense because they're of the same age. You know, she's introducing her to the rest of the, these older ladies. We have to remember that these antics, and I, I don't understand why the producers feel this is necessary because we all at this point understand that none of these women are friends. And especially when you bring them on like Robin and Scarlett, we know that they're not really friends. They're just using Robin to bring her on. We don't need that. Just introduce her. And, and, and find a new way of introducing the, uh, this housewife. But based on what I'm hearing, the rumors that there is a rift between the ladies, specifically Leah and Ebony, seems to be true. As I've been saying about Leah McSweeney, she is desperate to stay on this show. She is desperate. And we see it in her behavior from her first season. And I said I was open to her th this last season. And she proved me correct again. She is desperate in any shape or form to stay on the show, to stay relevant. Because it's increased her pockets. Yes, Married to the Mob has been doing decently, I guess. Shout out to Rihanna. Yes, Rihanna wears her, her stuff. Okay. But we also have to keep in mind being on the show was a huge platform for leah she wants to stay on it she wants to be able to launch other things but she has not proven to us that she's entertaining enough and she's on the lowest rated season ever in new york city and i know what a lot of you are saying the show has it's, it's a wrap it's done no this last season was their worst season this last season was their worst season even last season wasn't as bad with even with Leah. But there's no need for Leah McSweeney to come back. I see this move for her. Let me join the OGs in this pact against Ebony so I can keep my position on the show. It seems desperate, but it also seems in line with what Leah has shown us so far. I'm not impressed. I don't need her on the show. I know that Bravo, Andy, and the other executives at NBC Universal who are from what I hear reportedly, are heavily involved in the casting for the new season of The Real Housewives of New York. So just know this, we don't need Leah back. We honestly don't need Luann back. I've been a big advocate for Luann, not a big advocate, I'm being dramatic. I, I've been okay with Luann returning, but we don't need you back either, Luann. And Ramona, people like you on the show. I'm not going to deny that. People do like you on the show, even though you're problematic in a lot of different ways. But you could go too. A lot of people are, are wanting a complete recast of The Real Housewives of New York. Trust and believe, these executives are not as bold and as creative or as, 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 as great thinking when it comes to producing television as some of you are. 
Yes, they should recast. They should try and get a whole bunch of new women. But they're not going to do that. They're going to keep at least three and then maybe cast more. We're going to continue to watch this. As I've said over and over again, The Real Housewives of New York was my favorite city in this franchise. And to see it go down the way that it went down... I don't blame just the ladies. I blame production. I blame Andy Cohen. I blame uh, NBC Universal for not really understanding the assignment with this season. We've heard multiple rumors that they're not going to get rid of any of the ladies because that's what Andy Cohen says. He feels as if, you know, because of COVID and everything, blah, 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 blah. No, I don't think it was just because of COVID. I think it just wasn't an interesting season. You had... This, this is the Real Housewives of New York, and you have every single person on there that is single. I like Ebony K. Williams. However, as I've said multiple times as well, if you're going to cast another woman on the show, she should, be, she should have been married, maybe had some kids, but no, you cast another single woman? That made no sense to me when your show is called Real Housewives of New York. As always, guys, I want to know your thoughts on some of the rumors that are coming out from this book, Not All Diamonds and Rosé. You're welcome, Andy. I'm promoting your book. And what we're hearing in regards to the Real Housewives of New York ladies and the drama that's going on with them right now. Let's continue the conversation in the comment section. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.